All right, guys, we're with Virgil. Virgil, congratulations on a sensational first round knockout. When did you know that, that Delorme was done? As soon as I landed it, you know. I was watching the replay, and you could see me yeah. smile, like, let's play the second right there. Like, uh, it was just, a, it was a really good shot, uh, perfectly placed out. I didn't really uh, put any power behind it. It was just putting a perfect spot. Did you feel like he might get up, and, and then you're going to jump on him, or you knew that? When I saw him kind of get up, I was like, oh, he's going to get up. I'm like, okay, like, let's go. And then he kind of went back down. I'm like, oh. Yeah. And, and of course, you did say that you know the plan the plan wasn't to get him out early. You wanted to get a few rounds in. I wanted to get a few rounds in, uh, you know, just because I have a upcoming fight, you know, coming up. It's gonna it's gonna be a war. But uh, well, I think the insight that I showed in the ring right now, you know, just being able to stay poised and calm, uh, pick the right shots. I think that was more than enough for me. And I was checking out Twitter Street right now. Everybody's super excited. You know that this fight is on you versus Tim Zoo. They're calling it a throwback to the 80s, the HBO days. Oh, yeah. Is that a type of fight that you expect? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, it's going to be one of those classics that people watch. You know, like, 200 years from now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a crazy fight. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to be a part of it and watch it afterwards. Hey, a lot of people are, you know, are reminiscing your, your fight with Kavalaskis. They're expecting a fight like that 2.0 yeah. you know, against a much dangerous Tim Zoo, a much bigger Tim Zoo. Um, without saying too much, um, without saying too much, what is something that you're going to be looking for in that fight? All the action, all the action for sure. The the crowd, uh, you know, going ooh ah, because it's, it's not going to be a boring fight. It's, I promise it's not. So uh, that that's it. Just just the action and the, the excitement, the energy from the stadium. And people say that you're a normal kid. You play the guitar. You know, you're like the guy next door, but you're also a beast. How do you separate those two? I mean, it's, it's not that hard. You know, I go to the gym, it's boxing mode. I go back home, it's uh, it's Virgil mode. You know what I mean? So it's not that hard. And of course, people are saying the similarities between you and Tim. You guys are both, you know, gentlemen of the sport. You guys are both nice guys. Not big trash talkers, you know. Um, but when you guys get in that ring, it's like, it's like locked in. How do you kind of separate the, the, the good guy, you know, mentality without, you know, succumbing to... to like, I don't try. That's just how I am, you know. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not one to trash talk. I mean, I will if, if I don't like you, but you know, there's there's maybe like one or two boxers in the box that I don't like that. But, and if you, know, I'm not gonna name them, but you know, people will find out if the fights happen. But um, I'm just not that kind of guy. I'm not gonna be fake about it. I'm not gonna talk shit just to promote the fight. I, it's, if I talk shit, it's because I mean, not not to promote the fight, not for money. It's because I mean that shit.